This next piece is called Pop Goes the People. Inspired actually when I was watching an MTV show called The Hills. And then it's also about Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> Paris Hilton, and other uh, nonsensical pop culture madness. Go ahead. And cruising down our privately polished streets The bleached hairs are covering my eyes Through pearly gates we fly Like drunken speed demons Hoping to collide with the lost angelic paparazzi And break into heaven As if Princess Diana were guiding us So we ride Beached up like nicely dressed indulgent whales We fatten ourselves on high-end retail culture And dollar designer clothing lines Inhaled like our drugs We're high off the fumes of The invisible poverty kids And birds even notice them, but we don't mind. Our giant white fences will protect us. Even if the mansion was ablaze, we keep banging the real world TV, contracting MTV diseases under the soft glow of Westwood City lights. Tonight, the dead will dance, and the dirty aren't invited. Tonight, the dead will dance, and the dirty aren't invited. So the futon cuts and diamond studded bitches join hands in prayer on the blood red carpet like unattainable porcelain dollies all shiny wrapped in plastic packaged in a Hollywood club prison. Batteries aren't included, but the corrosive tears are exclusive and they cry rivers wider than my skin pigmentation. Most minds are diluted, washed clean with Caucasian disinfectants. This is a blue eyed society dispossessed by pastel fashions, a united state in uniform, divided and transparent. We burn off our colors on a plastic ballot in exchange for bell complexions. Get the fuck out of my way, Mrs. 15 Minutes. Your time is up, and you tax my senses enough. You and your media whores have fucked our brains out on sunset boulevards and uptown living room floors. In various pay-per-view brothels, we've sold ourselves, and we're marketed well, much like pop star anthems and racial tensions. In the backs of overpriced SUVs, we've held our after-party orgies, burned ourselves deep under the leather seats, and stumbled drunk through Lindsay Lohan's daydreams, where the entire galaxy is nothing but the cover of this month's issue of Seventeen, and she's a glossy tabloid goddess, immaculately conceived from some goddamn pop culture prophecy. In a blinding haze, covered in glitter and angel dust, we're drifting down PCH, binging on perfume and drugs, dragging along a congregation of super freaks and prostitutes on a holy pilgrimage to Malibu. There we lie upon the beach, frolicking in the golden dust, trying to forget the nameless concrete stars that came before us, and even they burn out, but we pretend to shine by the sticky to the lines reflected on the silver screen. In a witch's circle, we're walking glitter shins, speaking in tongues because our voices have been copywritten by Disneyland fascists, snake handling us in the name of entertainment. But they're just preaching to the choir because we're singing in unison, conducting a ritual to summon the American spirit. And that bitch is a pop princess, unable to liberate us because she's already been taken to prison for dancing under the influence. In the swingers club, I'm hanging out like an overground demon, pissing in your golden goblets to drug test my expressions. And it better test negative, because I'm prepared, prepared to execute the audience in case I can't contain the infection. This is Night of the Living Dead, and we're decaying on the dance floor, but still running rapid, attending casting call funerals presided over by prominent socialites and zombie executives. In 
clothes are fashionable, and shallowness is a measurement of your ability to swallow. Desperate times cause for depressing damsels, and that's exactly what they've done. Cast a lot amongst the fallen angels that float above us on commercial billboards and twinkle their way to stardom. Just remember, just remember, all of that glitters is stolen, so I'll be shooting stars.